So, come out this morning, needed a break from home. <clears throat> so I took a walk in the park and it was so good. I need to do this every single day. I need a break from inside, break from being a mama. Oh my legs, that's a steep ass hill right there. So lovely man, just coming out and just talking to a whole bunch of strangers, it's nice but I had to sit down for a little minute and just gather my thoughts and life and what I wanna do. Let me try to take these big old steps. Whoa, that was a big one. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, where do I go? This way or this way? I think I'll go up here. I love it. I'm taking a new path. But it was good. Need to leave. When you need to leave, just leave, guys. <laughs> just leave. But like I'm saying, it's just so nice to just get away and just be by yourself. It can be overwhelming most times. And, you know, there's a lot in life. Okay, either I'm gonna go all the way downhill or continue up here, and I'm gonna go up here because I know the car is just around there. I just took a big old walk around this park. But yeah, you need to just get away sometimes because life can be overwhelming. Relationships, family, work, everything can compile in on you. And you just need to escape. And like I said, whenever you just wanna leave, just leave. And this morning, I just got up, ain't told no one I left. And I just left because I just had to. I was just being overwhelmed. Anyway, I'm out of breath. This is terrible. Whew. Mm -hmm. Recorded this video in a um, landscape just then. I don't know, right vertical, whatever. Because it was just random. It wasn't planned, but time to go home. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. You can't eat mommy's phone. <laughs> hey. Hey. Right, so I was just literally feeding. Oh, pardon you, baby girl. Let me fix myself. Right, so I decided to just... <laughs> okay, guys, so I just wanted to come on here real quick to give you a quick update on, uh, you know, how I have been coping and, you know, getting along with my external hair care routine along my postpartum hair growth journey, you know. Um, now... Oh man. So today is the 15th day since I've started my external hair care routine care for my hair. <laughs> and you know, I haven't really been keeping up with it to be honest. Like the first week I kept up with only just oiling my scalp um at the frequency of which I said I would. But in regards to massaging my scalp daily and, you know, doing my moisturizing routine, I haven't done any of my moisturizing routine. So obviously with today being day 15, that means I should have done my moisturizing routine at least twice. I haven't done it. And um, obviously this is my, as it's day 15, I have kept up at least with my washing my hair every... <laughs> Can I speak properly? I'm keeping up with the two weekly or every two weeks or fortnightly, however you want to say it, you know, um, part of, you know, washing my hair so far. But in regards to the others, other stuff, I haven't been doing that because as you would have seen in the clip before this, life is just a little bit hectic, you know, and life gets in the way sometimes, yeah. you know. Yes, baby girl, life does get in the way. So, you know, 
I literally felt like I just want to stop recording. I want to stop doing everything and just go have a break because it can be overwhelming, especially when you're trying to mm. run a business, trying to be a mom, being a wife, trying to find time for yourself and, you know, being um, an entrepreneur or trying to run your own business, it definitely takes a lot out of you and things will be looking up some days and looking down some and it just kind of feel like you're putting in all your efforts into something and you're not really getting nowhere so that is a bit discouraging and it can keep you down and then obviously being a new mom all over again that playing its part in making you feel like oh my god what's going on and then just not feeling like you have any time for yourself. And that's why um, in the clip before this, you know, that day I literally just had to just leave my home and just be like, I'm getting out of here. Like, I just can't, you know, I need a break. So with everything going on, I haven't really been keeping up with my um, routine, but I plan to start keeping up with it now. Um, so even though I'm going to be giving you guys an update at the end of the 12 week period. I'm still going to include these two weeks that I've missed because it's still within the time that I'm supposed to be doing this. But I just want to let you guys know that sometimes, you know, you don't even stick to your schedule and it's because of life and life happens and you can't like ignore what happens in life. You know, sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need to stop. You need to step away and stuff. So even with that, even with me saying that little girl, she's trying to she's hanging off the bed so even with me saying that I'm I'm planning to take a little bit of time from um, not not take a little bit of time but I might not be uploading as often regarding my update but just know that I'm going to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing I hope to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing but I just wanted to come on here real quick just to at least say that to, you know because I'm documenting my journey and yeah so I wanted to make note that there are moments when I just don't feel like doing anything and uh, the results will be in when the, the time is up to see what happened when life gets in the way So as you guys know, I like to keep myself accountable. So what I have just done is um, typed up this. Um, so I just typed up this monthly um, calendar to keep myself accountable in regards to how I am, you know, keeping up with my external hair care routine. So I've just um, written up everything that I'm supposed to do. And so far, you know, everything that's in red which you can see clearly on the screen here are things that I haven't done and then other things that I'm supposed to do. I put them in different colors just so that I'm able to identify what I'm supposed to do so like for example wash days in green moisturizing routine is in blue oil scalp which is on a you know every other day basis um, is in purple and because daily scalp massages are uh, her every day I just left that one in black but anything that I haven't done I would highlight it in red excuse me pretty girl pretty girl yes you you may attack <laughs> but if we want results we have to be consistent and we have to keep pushing ourselves because you ain't gonna get no results if you don't do the work so I'm off to do the work guys.
guys so as you can see i literally just finished my moisturizing routine now my moisturizing routine should have been done yesterday sunday the 29th so today is september 30th obviously monday september 30th hey girl and um, I'm, I'm only just doing my moisturizing routine and to be honest um you know i told you guys i'm gonna get on it and just stay focused and that wasn't necessarily the case you know we just have to remember even though when we put certain things in place to do life do happen and you're not able to stay on track of everything that you're doing um, but like I says I want to be very transparent because at the end of the day I'm not only trying to do this to show you guys that this work I'm also doing it for myself as well so I have to be very honest especially if I want to you know know for myself that this actually works well I already know it worked because when I did my um, hair growth challenges back in 2017 going into 2018 I did see that you know just doing my external hair care routine impacts my hair growth and clearly from my three month update video with um, you know where I'm just juicing and drinking smoothies only we can see that there has been some growth but in order to put these two together to see how great it can impact hair growth you know is what I'm really after as well but you know life happens and I'm not able to do everything that I want to do or how I want to do it and another thing you know as you would see from the clips before this you know I have not really been in a great mental Oops, I thought you was about to fall, baby girl. This little girl, she's six months old and she's standing, she's crawling, she's got a first turn and everything like that, right, sweet girl? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so as I'm saying, you know, as you would see in the clips before this, that I haven't really been in the best mental space. And as we all know, hormonal imbalances can impact hair growth as well. That's right, baby girl. So I'm trying to get myself together where I am not so much in a place of stressing. <laughs> I just pretty much need some time to just get my mind right so that I'm not um, negatively impacting what I'm trying to achieve here with my hair growth and you know routine that I've got in place. Because like I said, hormonal imbalances can affect hair growth in a negative way. You know, stress can affect hair growth and all of those different things. So, you know, I'm just here trying to do my thing. And uh, I, like I said, I just want to keep it with you all and let you all know what's up. But um, I'm going to wrap this one up today. And I'm going to just show you all um, what's going on with my hair growth as well. See you later.